Here is an important keyword to use with your variables in C++. This is a trick you can do with your variables if you want to make sure that the variable will never ever change the value that it has inside of it. Like if you have your int x and it has 8 and you want to make sure throughout the whole pro program that x will always have 8 and that later on you will never succeed in giving x something else than what it already has. Um, and, and this is actually very useful because your program is going to become very very big and probably spread across many files and at some point in the program later on you may forget what is this x and that it's supposed to stay the same number forever and you might want to try to assign something else to x when really you wanted it to stay with 8 throughout the whole program. So to guarantee that it will never change what it has in its as its value, all you have to do is just add the const keyword before the type specifier of your variable. The const keyword, which stands for constant, will make sure that whatever variable you're creating over here will always keep that very same number that you are giving it during creation. So you have to make sure to give it an actual number, an actual something, right at creation. Because you can't like do const int uh, x and then give something to x because the only time you can give something to x which is constant is only at its creation. After that that's the whole thing is that you can never again assign something else to the variable x. If you try to do that you will not be able to compile your program you'll get an error that says you cannot assign to a variable that is const. And of course this is the same for your integer, for your all your int integer types like unsigned short and stuff like that and uh, your character variables and your floats and all your all your variables all you have to do is add const before and that will make sure that whatever you give it right away that then and there will stay its value throughout the whole program. Next up let's learn about a new type of variable you can use in your program. This is the bool variable which stands for the word boolean and here let's give it a name for this one and it's a very weird variable type because the only type of stuff you can put in there like an integer could have 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 0 and a whole bunch of stuff but the only thing you can put in a boolean variable is either true or false this is a very useful variable when for example in your program you will want to store away to remember different stuff like is the player alive or did the player die or did the mission complete or is the mission still running or did the player press the W key or did he not press the W key so for stuff like this you may want to use the boolean variable which you may want to call something like W key and then if the player press W key you will set this variable to true and then later on you will check the W key variable and you will see that yes it has been pressed by the player or if it wasn't pressed then you would give it false so this is very useful for uh, information that's not a number or a letter but it's just a true or false matter if you want to know if something is or isn't true if something happened or if something didn't happen and stuff like that now here's a few cool things to know about the boolean type of variable um, instead of just instead of typing false you can just type zero and that will be the very same effect as typing false 
and instead of typing true uh, you could type anything which is not zero so you can have like one will be exactly like true or two or three or four or even minus one minus two negative numbers anything that's not zero is exactly like typing true so it's clearer if you could just use the true and false uh, keywords but sometimes it will be necessary to use like the zero or the uh, other types of numbers to be able to make it true or false as we will see later on and of course like any good variable type you can make this constant so if for example you are programming a, a cheat code which makes you uh, always be alive then you would probably want to make it constant and this will make sure that uh, you will always be alive so that your cheat code works just like this now this variable alive will always be true and you will never be able to set alive to anything else uh, even true again or of course not zero or false because it is constant and a constant variable cannot be assigned to anymore now back to our math lessons it could happen to you many times throughout your program that you will need to um, uh, you will pretty much not know at all what is inside your variable it could be at the beginning of the program you know very well that it has nine but later on a lot later on throughout the program you may lose track of what exactly what exactly is the precise number that it's holding and that's pretty okay because that's what the variables are meant to do you are making sure that your program will set up your variable so that it takes care of itself whatever type of, of number it may be holding but what if you need to do something like add whatever is inside x to the variable x itself plus one let's say for example let's say uh, our pro program got very big now and we don't know what x has really at this point x uh, equals uh, let's say seven but we don't know that because we lost track of it now at this point in the program we know for sure that whatever is inside x we want it to be that number plus one one complicated way to do it is to make first a different variable and give it what's inside x and then assign h plus 1 to the variable x if you're following along you will see that what we are doing here is successfully making x whatever it is plus 1 well here's a trick you can do this without making a whole extra variable all you gotta do is tell x to assign itself to its own number plus one so it's pretty funny to be assigning x to x itself but what we really want to do is have this expression over here which adds x plus one and give that whole results to x itself for your convenience c++ has a shortcut for doing exactly this assigning a variable to itself plus something else and that is the plus equals operator plus equals will take whatever is on the right and just add that to whatever is already in the variable not like the assignment operator which throws away whatever is inside x the plus equals will keep whatever is inside x and add to it one or two or a different variable whatever it is you need to add to the variable to the left all you gotta do is use the plus equals operator and that will take whatever is on the right whatever expression is on the right and add that to the variable that's on the left play around with it and check it out try to do a whole bunch of stuff and print it out on the screen oh and while you're at it try out the minus equals operator uh, multiplication equals division equals and the mod equals operator.